Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial on Cornerstone and Xtheme. Um, I'm just going to take into account that you've set up your WordPress website and have installed um, Xtheme on there. Um, there's a link below if you need some help with that. Underneath, but I'm just going to run through all of the um, Xtheme options. So let's get cracking. So you'll see on the left here. Um, you'll have the X option. And so we're just gonna run through all of these. So first things first, which is validation. So when you buy your X theme um, from uh, the Envato market or wherever you got it from, um, you'll get sent an email um, with, I'll just show you here. Um, so this is the email that you'll get from Envato and saying that you've purchased Xtheme and this is your product code. So you'll need to um, take that, click on this My Downloads bit, which will take you into the, um, the back end of um, Xtheme so that you can validate your license and then just follow the steps through, through that when you get there. So then you'll get that code and you'll just, um, there'll be a, thing in the top here where you just put it in click enter and then all of these will go green so the benefits from validating Xtheme uh, means that you can have you have access to their support all of their demo content which there's links underneath here um, and you get access to all these extra extensions um, which work really well with Xtheme um, like these are all just um, standalone plugins uh, that you can get from WordPress. Um, I'm not going to go into those, but yeah, there's a few which are really, really useful for your um, marketing. Okay. Next is settings. Now, this is just a few um, additional settings of where Cornerstone um, is going to be available. So Cornerstone is the page builder. So currently there's posts and pages. That's pretty much all you want um, for it. You sometimes might not want to have Cornerstone on your blog posts, so you can just remove that. Um, there's content roles. Currently, it's, um, Cornerstone's only available if you are an administrator user in WordPress. So if you wanted to have, um, like change it to editor or author, you can add those in, so the Cornerstone will be available to other users. Um, so WordPress toolbar, WordPress toolbar is um, this bit. So we'll just have that enabled because we don't want, that's just an extra um, block on the page when we're um, creating our content. Fun mode is just wacky messages. Um, help text is um, useful to have on um, because you can just hover over sections and it will give you a brief description of what um, each element or what the button's gonna do. Um, legacy shortcode generator is the thing that um, Cornerstone used to have, um, which means you could paste shortcodes into um, text areas and then you have um, a wider range of um, elements to have. I'm not going to go too much into that because there's really not too much need for that. Um, the content board builder elements um, so cornerstone have just upgraded so now there are um, classic elements um, and advanced elements which have which pretty much do the same thing but have um, extra controls so that you can um, play around with styling and plus there's a few extra elements that you can choose um, so just leave it with all elements selected Custom path is um, just a nice to have thing. It, you're never gonna really use it. It basically just changes the path that you in the URL that you see when you're editing your page. Um, and hide access path. Um, this means that you can link straight to a page to edit it, but you there's not really any, that's just, going way into too much stuff. Um, and then lastly, um, as soon as clearing the style cache, 
Um, so if you've created um, any CSS, um, Cornerstone will reload that to um, help um, speed up the loading times. Okay. So, well, if you change any of those, just remember to click update here on the right and to save those. Okay. Next option is Cornerstone. So we're just gonna go in here quick and basically this is just gonna, this is how Cornerstone the page builder looks. So it just defaults to the content. So these are all gonna be all of your pages and posts on your website. So if you click it on here, then you will be able to um, edit a page through the Cornerstone page builder. Okay, so now that's loaded, you can see just um, just an example of how a Cornerstone page looks. So this is just an example page um, that's pre-built on there. Um, and yeah, so when you're editing with Cornerstone, you'll have these on the left, which are called sections. And you can, as you can see, if I hover over those, you'll get the nice blue box. Um, indicating which area you're looking at. So in this section, I have elements. So this is a custom headline, and this is just a classic test uh, text box. So you can click on um, where you want to edit. Um, so just make sure you highlight the area that you want to change. So this time I'm just going to change this custom headline. So once I click into that, it's going to load everything onto the side here, and then you can just go and edit those. I've got videos on um, all of the classic elements, so um, I'll put a link to that at the end of that video, at the end of this video. Okay, so we're going to go back to the dashboard. Okay, so carrying on down the menu, so we've done validation, settings, and cornerstone. Next, we're going to go into templates. Okay, so um, this is the template manager. Um, so all of the templates that you've got in the site will be listed here. I've just got a um, this one here for the global. So you can click those. You can either download the template and you'll get the file, or you can delete the template. So you might have ones that you don't want to use anymore. So um, you can just clear them. Um, but here is where you can um, drag in and upload um, other templates. So if you do buy templates from um, the store, just this is where you drag them in. Um, that's pretty much that's simple. You've got a few options, um, just the name of it. Um, the type it's going to be, you can preview it here and you can select to hide it, um, which will just, um, it will leave it in the template manager, but on the drop down when you're selecting a template, um, it won't show in that drop down if you hide it. It's, um, just good if you've got a lot of templates. Okay, so next we're going to go to global blocks. So this menu is um, same as the one that, we're, that we were previously using. We'll just go to Global Blocks. Now, Global Blocks is a new um, function that um, Xeam have put into Cornerstone um, in their latest update. Um, it's super useful. Um, I'm just, it basically means that you can create a block here and edit it and everywhere that you've used that block on your site um, will update so it will be the same um, it will be the same layout i'm going to do a more in-depth um, video um, for this so keep an eye out for that um, but yeah very very useful bit of functionality okay next is colors so here um, we can just set um, colors which are used all over the site um, regularly. So let's say that um, your primary color is black. 
secondary is gray and your link text is red and that's the hover color so you save those if you've got the brand colors that you might want to use you can add that in we can do six uh, as many as you want so these are it's just like a library of colors that you're going to use over and over again it saves you having to uh, remember what the um, exact code is okay so now we're just going to go to the site options where i'll show you where we can use these colors okay so in these options this is where you can um, pull your colors through so let's say you're editing the buttons these are your current um, button colors um, but when you highlight that you can see that you've got the extra options here so all of the colors that you picked in the color manager bit um, they're here available to use so you don't have to keep um, using going back and finding the right colors so just pretty handy little bit there so next is your fonts that. okay so um, these is works pretty much the same as the color manager but these are four fonts that you use all over your site so the body copy um, let's say yeah Helvetica and things you want something a little bit a little more different so you can change the font there or you can add a third font and choose something else for maybe like a different subheading if you save your fonts there now when you go back to the options if you're now going into type typography you just need to um, enable the font manager um, if you're going to use those preset fonts because otherwise um, as a standard, you'll get uh, a full list of Google fonts. So and that list is um, pretty big. So if you just want to restrict the fonts that are used on your site, you want to set your fonts in that font manager, and then enable font manager here. Once that's refreshed, you can just go down here. And now, um, so this is where you change the body and content font. So in this body font, if you just click on here, you're going to have just those font options um, that you put in the font manager. So um, if you've got other people editing your um, site, this is a great way to just limit um, the amount of fonts that they have. Cool. Uh, and lastly is the options which we're already in. Okay, so these are the customization options for um, general theme layouts. So I won't go through all of these, but I'll just go through um, quickly the main ones. So your stack options, these are um, base layouts that um, Xtheme have, have set together and I'll put links to the demos under this video. But yeah, you've got the four main sections, um, four main options, take free, renew, icon and ethos. So if you select one of those, let's say renew, that's just going to edit the um, base layout here. So like the heading and cover some of the options here. And then when you go back here, then you've got this new um, option. So here you can go in and you've got like specific options set for that stack. So these will change. So um, yeah, just have a play around with um, the options here take a look at the demos to see which one um, you like the look of um, and then just have a play around so layout and design um, so these are like set width for your page um, so you can have like the content on the left or sidebar on the right you can change the, the site width with the padding um, change or how um, big it is I would generally just leave these alone i mean there are fun options to have but generally they're set 
to um to a good standard um so yeah um i mean you can edit them but generally it's fine to leave them leave them on and then you're just going to edit each page individually so you can cover all of these anyway um buttons are just going to be um the default um look and feel for your buttons and uh, colors which we went through um text and hover um heading we'll just edit this section footer is this section at the bottom blog will just be your how your blog is laid out portfolio is um, a different type of um, blog post um, so you can choose how that's laid out social is going to be um, where all of your um, social links are so just put in it's got pretty much everything in there so just put in the links to those and you're going to see that you've got links in the footer you can also have that in the header so just put the links to your social things in there. Site icons um, are just going to be for um, generally for your social. So just stick your um, logo in there. Um, fav icon is um, the little option that you've got in your browser tab. So you can set a link to that just in your media library. And miscellaneous is just a few extra options. Um, is mainly for this um, bottom right um, back to top button you can show if you can have that or not um, again these options on the side so you can add custom CSS to the whole of the site or pages individually if you're here in the theme options then when you click on CSS you can add in um, extra CSS, which is going to be which you can use site wide. Um, if you are on a current page and you click on the CSS option, the CSS is just going to load for that particular page, um, which is quite a handy feature. Same with the JavaScript, so you can do um, global JavaScript here, which works on every page, or you can have JavaScript which works just on individual pages. The handy one is um, this, so you can view your um, site in different layouts. So if you click on here, it's just going to be on like a um, like a small tablet or um, like an iPad in portrait mode. And then this one is what it's going to look like on mobile phones. So it's a great way just to check that your layout works on all devices. Um, this will just go to the um, just just a quick link to have a look at the site. This will hide the menu, and here's just your extra help options, and then obviously the save button. Okay, so shoot me over any questions, any things that I've missed, or if you need any extra help, and I'll be happy to um, maybe make some more helpful videos. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers.